I'm Jeff Vogel for Art Buzz TV. We're here in the heart of downtown West Palm Beach. It's a beautiful night. The moon is shining down on this city. And we're in the, the center of the Arts District trying to find out what's going on tonight. And we've noticed a lot of activity going on right here inside of the Nicole Henry Gallery. Oh, I remember. Tonight is the night that Bruce Helander is having a one-man show. Bruce Helander was recently, well, well, last year sometime, he was he was inducted into the Florida Artists Hall of Fame, and uh, he's probably the best-known collage artist in the West Palm Beach area, perhaps all of Florida. He's he's exhibited in galleries around the world. Let's go inside the Nicole Henry Gallery. See if we can find Bruce Helander and see what's going on tonight, okay? Nicole, this is an exciting night. Uh, tell me about the event, how it, how it got um, conceived and uh, how it became implemented. Well, Bruce is actually my neighbor. He's right across the railroad tracks and he came over to the gallery when I moved in and we started to have a relationship and he's been very helpful with all kinds of things that I'm doing and he asked to have a show here and I thought that was a fantastic idea since I love his work and I know how well respected he is. And so tonight we're here and it's finally like almost a year of planning and yep, it's very exciting. You mentioned all the things that you're doing. What are some of those things that you're doing? So I started something called Canvas Outdoor Museum Show. It's the world's largest outdoor museum show and in November we bring over 20 artists to downtown West Palm Beach, the most famous artists in the world, to do giant murals and sculptures and installations and it's really starting to change the landscape of our city. You're having an impact on downtown West Palm, aren't you? Yes, I am and I have a, a lot of people that are helping me so it's really exciting. Yeah. And, and the gallery itself, um, it, uh, you have exhibits year-round? I do. Um, I try to have one a month during the season yep. and there's always new exciting artists coming in and fe we're featuring all kinds of great things here. Yeah. And wh what, why did you want to be part of this downtown scene? Well, West Palm Beach really needed an art scene to come alive and I felt like I could really participate in that. We have a lot of great things in this city. It's a great urban landscape with a tropical climate. So it's a place that will really attract artists, and it has. So it's exciting to see that. What's your background? I was an art history major in college and a studio art major. So I've been studying art my whole life and loving art. It's my passion, so it's wonderful to be able to get to do that. Do you dabble a little bit yourself? No, right now I just curate. I mean, I have my hands full between Canvas and the gallery and all of these great projects that I'm working on. What, what intrigues you about uh, Bruce Helander's work? Well, Bruce is really an art historian as well, so he understands the importance of all of these different artists through the history, and you can see that in his work. It's very deep and meaningful. It's not just aesthetically pleasing, but there's a story behind each piece. And it's multi-layered, isn't it? Absolutely. Thank you so much, and I, this is going to be a great evening. Absolutely. We're looking forward to it. Thanks. Thank you. Hi, I'm Carolyn. And I'm Jim. Together we are the Live Now Real Estate Team at Remax Associated Realty. We know the Sebastian area real estate market very well. and We also know that buying or selling a home can be very serious business. But together we can reduce the stress and even have fun in the process. Along with our hundreds of satisfied clients, we really want you to live now and be happy too. Contact us at thelivenowteam.com. See you soon. One-of-a-kind videos, unique perspectives, original programming only on Buzz TV Network. Spread the word and tell a friend. James Pappas is a collector of Bruce Helander's work. How long have you known Bruce? Uh, pretty much ever since I moved down to uh, Palm Beach back in 99. Palm Beach is becoming uh, more and more of a center for artistic endeavors, isn't it? Yeah, and he's been one of the f leaders of the local artists down here. And, uh, you know, he's, he's got a very distinguished career in the art world. 
and uh, it shows in his work. What about his work attracts you? Well, there weren't very many, and there aren't very many good collage artists, and I think uh, a lot of people are doing what he started many years ago. Um, even the new guys, like Brainwash and some of these other guys, where they're taking uh, newspapers, uh, photographs of famous people, and working them into their paintings. Uh, but it's really, when you look through it all, it's really the background that creates the mood for the picture. And the, all of the in-painting that they do is is similar to what he's been doing. It just brings it out and it sends, uh, it's a great look and uh, he's really, I, I'm not versed in collage art enough to say that he was the first and only one that did it, but uh, it, to my, in my experience, I had not seen it the way he did it and the way he does it. I find uh, a, a lot of um, playfulness in his work. Yeah, he's he has fun, and he picks great uh, old clippings that are fun. You know, Popeye and olive oil, and you know some of the iconic images that he cuts and pastes and makes them look modern and cubist and he's just uh, he's got a knack and he's very good at it and and yet uh, he's a good he's a good painter if he wanted to just do a straight painting he could but I don't think he can <laughs> he's so in, he's so uh, committed to what he does uh, and he's good at it uh, and he, he's stood the test of time I mean he's good have you got your eye on any particular pieces here this evening? I like the uh, I like the the diver. Yeah. And yeah. I like the uh, the two birds, the the um, oil further down to the left there. Yeah, there. I've got a lot of his stuff, and um, I don't say that I concentrate on him because I don't. I we've been collecting since the 70s, so. Yeah who've been around. Well, his work is a, is a fun addition to anyone's collection, I would think. Yeah, no, I, I show it and I live with it and everybody likes it when they walk into our apartment and, you know, most of the stuff that we have, uh, when you're a collector, half, half, probably 80% of what we own is in warehouses and boxes and we never see it. Uh, but down here, I've been living with a lot of his work and some of the ones that I like from living with it is the true test yeah yeah you have to like it I mean uh, art if you don't like what you're looking at it can give you nightmares <laughs> thank you so much for you're talking welcome. About I appreciate it The Furniture Man is a locally owned business that has served the needs of the community of Vera Beach and Indian River County for over 30 years. Here at The Furniture Man, we offer fine pieces to furnish each and every room of your home. Specializing in Floridian style, come browse our selection of bedroom, dining room, patio, and living room. Come explore over 10,000 square feet of showroom where you can find mattresses, recliners, sofas, dining, and more. Visit us at 673 US 1 in Vero Beach, Monday through Saturday, for all of your furniture needs. Victims of mesothelioma and their loved ones may be entitled to receive a cash reward from over $18 billion in asbestos trust funds now available. If you or a loved one was diagnosed with mesothelioma, call the number on your screen now. Even if a loved one has passed due to mesothelioma, you may still be entitled to a cash reward. Time is limited. Call now. Please call 800-970-0240. Joel Cohen. Yes. How long have you known Bruce Helander? About 15 years. Yeah, can you vouch for his character? No. <laughs> can you vouch for his artwork? Oh, I love his artwork. I actually, what I love about it is how far he's come in that time. 
Um, we liked his work in the beginning and actually uh, used to represent him. We had a gallery in Palm Beach for seven years and Bruce was one of our artists. And his, the difference between his work then and now is just a world away. It's so much more refined. I really like it. I think he's come a long way. What, 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 is, the, what is the change? What is the evolution? It's, it's, more, it's less cut paper collage and more painting and actually getting physically onto the canvas with his hands and a paintbrush. Yeah. And I like that evolution because it's not, it's not looking like a collage anymore. They're paintings with things applied to them rather than everything applied. And well, I have to tell you, I had to look twice to see the collage aspect of that's, it. That's, uh, that's my point. He's come so far away from what he used to do, yeah. and it's really evolved into really nice art, and yeah. we're, we're very happy for him. But maybe, maybe because I, I know very little, but maybe um, a, a good collage uh, blends in so well that it, it just becomes a single unit? Yeah, well, it should. It should. It should become, a, a, it should become part of the art. Right. It, it shouldn't say, oh, there's cut paper. It should be, there's a great piece of art. And by the way, it's made with paint, wood, cut paper. You know, it's, it's, the, it's the evolution of an artist. Every artist has to evolve. As a dealer in art, what do you think of what's going on here in West Palm Beach downtown? I am so happy, I can't tell you. Yeah. Because when we started 17 years ago, there was nothing here. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's turned into a wonderful art market right now. There are galleries everywhere and high quality galleries like this one. And the artists have been here, they just didn't have a venue to show their work. And now there are quite a few venues to show the work and I'm thrilled. Because it just makes the neighborhood better and makes it a more a creative community which is what it is this is a great creative community now and it never was when we first got here so i'm happy to see it very pleased what motivates you as a dealer in art why do you, why do you want to be involved in that i just love it i've been a creative i'm a photographer myself okay. i've been to being a creative person my whole life I'm a graphic designer and i love sharing and when I see work that I really love, I'm dying to sell it to you. <laughs> Tell me about when you first realized that art was something important. Oh, I've always felt that way. I, I started taking pictures when I was 12, and I always looked at, I'm a photographer, so I always looked at photography as art. The rest of the world's finally catching up to me. It's yeah. wonderful. Yeah. You know, yeah. so I, I, yeah, I, I've always spent my life at museums and galleries from the time I was a kid. So it's always been a part of my, an important part of my life. As you know, Bruce has been inducted into the, the you know the Florida um, right uh, Artist Hall of Fame. That was uh, last year, I think. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, a deserving award for him, without question. Yeah. The man is art 24/7, as he should be. Yeah. You know, if you're if you're going to be an artist, you got to jump in both feet, both hands, and he does that. He is always on. You'll yeah. never find Bruce relaxing. Yeah. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. For more than 30 years, Bay Street Pharmacy has been your neighborhood pharmacy and one-stop health care center, offering prompt personal service, home delivery, and a dedicated staff that treats our customers like family with care and compassion. Bay Street Pharmacy, where caring people care for you. Plant your business in the Buzz TV ID Garden and watch your buzziness grow. Make a 15 second business video ID. Plant your video ID in Buzz TV programs. Then spread your video ID on social media and watch your buzziness grow on Buzz TV. Listen up, America. This is an important medical alert for anyone suffering from back or knee pain. If you or a loved one suffers from back or knee pain and have Medicare as your primary insurance, you can qualify for a pain-relieving back or knee brace at little or no cost to you. Stop living in pain because the brace you need is too costly. Call Listen Up America right now for more details. The call is free and there's no obligation. Please call 800-299-6799. Ron Burkhart is a uh, respected artist, and uh, you're here looking at uh, some of Bruce Helander's work tonight. Have you gotten a good look at some of what he's displaying? Yeah, what I love about Bruce is he's always totally inventive. You never know what he's going to do next. Here, uh, he's got these collages with actual objects and cats on them. 
I mean, he's a master of collage. As I'm sure may, maybe people don't know, he's in 60 museums. He's one of the foremost collage artists in the world. And just um, his colors, his technique, the fabrics, the texture, he's so incredibly inventive all the time, always coming up with something new and powerful and different. Each one of these is multi-layered, isn't it? Oh yeah, and I've seen him work on these for months at a time, over and over and over. So when people buy these, they're getting something of intrinsic value because it's it's not just an idea, but he works it and works it and works it. And, and the designs he comes up with are totally unique, like you don't see anywhere else. As an artist yourself, how important is it, um, and, and maybe everyone's got their different approach, but to to be able to walk away from something, come back to it, add more to it. Yeah, well, for myself, I know that's critical. If you hit a little roadblock, you wait a few days or a week, and then you have a new idea. And I'm sure Bruce is so prolific, he's probably constantly going back and reinventing, but he keeps moving on to different ones. ADD is a good thing for an artist. Yeah. So he's always pursuing something else, and that'll give him an idea to come back and finish the one he had been working on. Do you ever wake up in the middle of the night with an idea? Uh, usually early morning, not usually the middle of the night, but early morning, yeah, I keep a pad and pencil, notism next to the bed. So I'm always uh, coming up with thoughts. And But a guy like Bruce, his mind is percolating 24-7. So he's probably making notes uh, every hour of the day. <laughs> the Nicole Henry uh, Gallery is really adding something to downtown West Palm, don't you think? Yeah, this I know. This is first class, trendy, elegant, unexpected. She's first class and she's really done something extraordinary. You get the best crowds anywhere in West Palm when you come here for an event. Yeah. She really brings in an incredibly diverse group of people. I mean, uh, people, people live here, they work here, and they play here. <laughs> yeah, well, West Palm is really taking off and she's in the forefront. Tony Solo, who put all this together, owns the building and everything, is a real visionary as well. And um, so she's benefiting from that, and he's benefiting from her taste and class. So. Ron, thanks for talking to us. Yeah. Enjoy yourself tonight. Always great to see you Thank guys. Thank you. All the best. Margaret Diedrich has the best seat in the house here at the um, Nicole Henry Gallery. I do indeed. Are you enjoying yourself tonight? Oh, yes, absolutely. Are you familiar with, uh, with the artwork? Oh, yes. It's, I think it's fascinating. Did you know what you were getting into when you came here tonight? No, actually, I didn't. I was really surprised when I came in. It was really lovely. Yeah. What about Bruce Helander's work do you like? Well, I've looked around and I really enjoy everything. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Where do you come from? What is your story? Well, I'm originally from Grand Rapids, Michigan, and I live here in Lake Worth, and uh, I enjoy coming to these art shows. You know, Bruce Helander's work, um, which involves a lot of collage, has all kinds of surprises in the pictures. Have you noticed that? Yes, I did. I did indeed. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's very interesting how he put it all together. Yeah. Thank you so much for talking with us. And thank you. We have important health news that may be of dire importance to you, your family, or someone you know. If you or your loved ones need health insurance immediately, call Quote Rhino Health now. Let us help you find the health insurance program that provides you access to doctors, hospitals, and emergency services. As an added bonus for calling now, our providers can send you a no-obligation, no-cost prescription card, which can save you up to 50% off your prescriptions. Call the number on your screen now. Buzz TV Network is now the fastest growing new media outlet in Florida. Watch BuzzTVNetwork.com. David Cam here at the Nicole Henry Gallery. There's a lot going on tonight. There is a lot going on. We came from an earlier one and now we are here to see Bruce Helander's work. Uh, are you an art lover? I am. Are you an art collector? Of sorts, until I run out of wall space. Uh, okay. All right. You still got a couple walls left to be filled? Well, I have to move some things in order to put something up. 
Describe Bruce Helander's work for me. It's eclectic, it's interesting, it's colorful. I even have uh, one of his ties that he designed with Nicole Miller. They're just bright stuff, interesting stuff. Are there any of these pieces that you would like to walk out of here with tonight? Actually, one really caught my eye, and that was the one in the far corner there. Yeah, yeah that's a really beautiful piece. I like, the, I like that style a lot. It's small, it's almost a miniature, but it's not. Compared to these, it is a miniature. Well, you've got, you've got to worry about that wall space. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I just don't have any anymore. <laughs> Thank you so much Thank for talking. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Jeannie Roberts lives in France, came all the way here to West Palm Beach just to see Bruce Helander's paintings tonight, yes? Yes, yes, it's a wonderful occasion to be here tonight, and lots of buzz, lots of people here, and the works of art are so bright and so jolly. It's nice to walk into an art gallery full of happy people yeah. with lots of jolly paintings. And uh, I think he's going to be very successful, or he is very successful already. Were you familiar with Bruce Helander's work before you came here I'm tonight? I'm afraid I was not. I was brought by a friend who told me that his work was excellent. And uh, everybody agrees with her that it is very, very beautiful work, very complex. Um, he's using lots of different materials on his canvases. And uh, I think it's very interesting. Are you an artist yourself? I am an artist. I work in watercolors. And I used to help run an art gallery in Bond Street in London. Fantastic. So, uh, and I go to a lot of, I go to Art Basel in Miami. And we've just been to the art show here in West Palm. It's a big modern art show. And as I live in the south of France, I know all about Renoir and Degas and everyone who is showing down there, who lived down there, uh, Bonnard, uh, so I know a lot about the classics. This is a fun evening. What do you think of the, uh, the emerging art district in West Palm Beach? I think it's really exciting. I think it's very close to downtown, so it's very accessible. Uh, downtown West Palm Beach is really buzzing, like Buzz TV. Yeah, yeah. I think it's fantastic, and all these new restaurants that have opened at Dixie, um, it has a little Latino flavor, which I find is very interesting. And it's jolly and it's, got, uh, it's very young. It's very youthful. There's a lot of young people living here now. There's electricity in the air. Yes. It's nice to get an international viewpoint. Oh, you are very sweet. And I, I hope all success for Buzz TV. Thank you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Bruce Inlander is really, truly a talented artist. And you know what I love mostly about him is that you can always expect freshness from Bruce's work. Really fresh stuff, very fresh, which I love. But it also it's colorful, it's enjoyable. It, you, you wonder who took it, but yet it has a very distinctive style, which is interesting. And I found that all really talented artists have a distinctive style, like Picasso or Monet or Miro, whatever, you know, there's a distinct style. And that is very hard to be original and different, but yet have a distinct style. Enjoy yourself tonight. Yeah, Thank I'm enjoying so myself, definitely. Yeah. I love, you know, I love Palm Beach. What's on your website? Video is now essential to your brand, and Buzz TV can help your business website stand out. Buzz TV is a full-service video production company creating video to highlight what you do best. With service and product news and demos, video for the web, YouTube, Facebook, broadcast TV, and social media sharing. Email buzztvnetwork at gmail.com today. We look forward to hearing from you. Attention, this is an important message for anyone who had an IVC filter placed to prevent blood clots from traveling to their heart or lungs. Did your IVC filter move, break, or cause organ damage? The FDA warns that IVC filters may cause serious complications, such as heart or lung damage, internal bleeding, or even death. Call Jacoby and Myers today. You may be entitled to compensation. You won't pay a thing unless your case is settled. Please call 800-378-0160.
Bruce, uh, th this is an exciting night tonight. Your reaction to uh, the folks' reaction? Well, my goodness, I, I, I mean, it was um, an opening that certainly uh, surpassed my expectations. This arts district is evolving. Yeah. What, what's your impression of what's happening downtown? Well, there, I mean, uh, for me, I mean, a, kind of a kind of a magnetic attraction to living downtown. Yeah. Artists need energy. Uh, artists need uh, inspiration. Uh, everything I need um, is here in downtown. Uh, I've got the theater, and I've got uh, Norton. I've got uh, Clematis Street, uh, Rosemary City Place. Yeah. My printer. So I decided to come down here and um, we first, uh, my wife and I, Claudia, uh, were, were the first legal work loft uh, residents on Clematis Street. And with that, I think a lot of the energy that's down here uh, assisted me in, in going forward. I mean, uh, the, um, I've had great support from this community. I have great collectors that support what I do. And, and uh, so the, the notion uh, of being invited to show my work at, in downtown, I'm across the tracks, <laughs> 60, 60 feet from here. Fantastic. Uh, and so literally, uh, Nicole Henry, the gallery director, uh, and I brought a lot of the works right across the, right across the street and up on the walls. So this was great. This we did the whole easy. thing right here, yeah. man, yeah. right downtown, right in the nucleus, right in the epicenter. And I'm, I'm proud to play a part of that. I'm uh, thrilled to be downtown, uh, to live and work here. And I think that uh, the, the notion that, you know, it was such a hot shot crowd, but you, you, you got to talk to my dealer, Nicole Henry, because she is the one who invited me to come here, and she is the one who's behind the great canvas event here downtown. Well, Nicole has told us, we, we did speak with Nicole, and she has told us that basically the two of you partnering is helping to change the face of downtown West Palm. Is that right? Well, we like to, we like to think so because the, the notion that Nicole handles her uh, professional career as a gallery director in such a professional way, she's already made such a mm, tremendous permanent imprint on, on the walls of this town with canvas. Yes. And then the notion that she can pull off a show like this with such great people and on a rainy day is just wonderful. I'm very impressed and I thank you. Nicole, you've got to be pleased tonight. I'm very pleased. We had an amazing turnout and Bruce's work, it just speaks for itself. It's been so well received, so couldn't go any better. We're thrilled. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm delighted working with Nicole. It was really one of the better openings I've ever had. We had some, you know, some nice sales and some great interest from uh, uh, a lot of different people, so we're encouraged. Paper ends up as my palette, and that's really the basis of the show. I'm delighted with the response, what can I say? And I'm thrilled that you guys uh, stopped in. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for coming by. Appreciate You're welcome. it. Stop dirty, unread newsprint clogging our landfills with waste. Go green. Save a tree. Watch Buzz TV. For more than 30 years, Bay Street Pharmacy has been your neighborhood pharmacy and one-stop health care center, offering prompt personal service, home delivery, and a dedicated staff that treats our customers like family with care and compassion. Bay Street Pharmacy, where caring people care for you.